What's up, Facebook Fortnite group? Velo here, back again with another video. And today, I wanted to get a little bit more advanced. I've been making some videos. Yesterday, we did layering. Um, videos before that, we went into like building 101 and things like that. But I want to make a video for my guys out there and my girls who are a little bit more advanced. They're not getting anything out of these videos from the past. So I want to get into some high ground retakes. I think these ones are useful, and they're some of them are they're pretty basic. Not too flashy, not too complex, but they get the job done, which is important. So the very first one, guys, that I want to get into is coming out of a scissor ramp, okay? So most of you have been in this situation, if you're a little bit more advanced, where you're coming out of a scissor ramp, okay? And there's a bunch of different ways to get into this situation, but we're just going to start with this, and then we can show you how to get into it later. The idea behind this retake, or this way to get vertical, is going to be placing a cone above your ramp here okay so usually what i like to do is i kind of look up at this top corner if i'm going to the left or i'm going to look up here if i'm going to the right okay so this top corner of your ramp and that's where you're going to place your cone okay so you see that this is going to do a couple things one if somebody is running up your ramp it's going to cone them off and also if somebody is one layer above you they cannot build a ramp they can't continue to go up they're going to have to 90 out of this or something like that so you're down here on your ramp that first cone goes up and then from here if we're going to the left all you're going to do is you're going to build a ramp floor ramp okay so it's going to look like this ramp floor ramp all right so just so you guys can see what that looks like you built that cone you built this ramp off of the cone you built this floor and then you built this ramp and you're going to be landing on this ramp as you jump so the ramp floor ramp is kind of going to happen in one fluid motion i'm going to show you guys at real speed really quick just so you can get an idea all right so as you jump you're doing that ramp floor ramp in fact i didn't get this ramp up here shame on me let me do it again there we go all right so that case it's all while you're doing the jump is when you're doing that ramp floor ramp it's pretty quick I'm going to show you guys a little bit slower going to the right now. So we're coming out of scissor ramps. I'm looking up here. I'm placing the cone, ramp, floor, ramp, kind of while I'm jumping. And then from here, keep in mind, this isn't the most protected retake, okay? But it's mat efficient. Notice that I am exposed if he was on this ramp. If he was one above me, it wouldn't be as big of a deal. Um, usually at this point, I'm going to be editing through this floor. And you can either do it like this. You can do it like this. It's up to you. I just edit through that floor. So that's the only edit really in this high ground retake. And you can do it to the left and right. And I encourage you guys to work on doing it in both directions. All right. And then you can like 90 out of that or whatever. So that's the first one. The second one that we're going to do. This one is going to be very similar, except it's just the way that we're starting. Um, and this is how we get into different variations of scissor ramps. But this one, you're going to be running up a ramp. Maybe you're running towards somebody. Maybe you're running out of a scissor ramp. doesn't matter. But what you're going to do is a cone and a floor. You're doing a cone and a floor build. And then you're going to edit the floor, edit the cone. So this is what we're looking for. Okay, this. And now we're in a very similar situation where we can build a ramp, floor, ramp off of that okay and you can do that as you jump so this pattern right here you guys already know that one you've been working on that from the first one the difference now is that we have this floor and this cone that we're going to put up first so if you guys are having trouble with the edit i encourage you guys to go into the edit gym there is one that is just floors and cones floors and cones floors and cones or you can just come out and free build and just do ramp floor cone edit edit ramp floor cone edit edit ramp floor cone edit edit and just keep on working on that okay getting that movement getting that pattern down so it happens naturally it's going to take some time if you haven't done it yet but this is the move going up floor cone edit edit and as we jump ramp floor ramp okay and now we're in that same movement that we just did all right and you can mix it up you don't always have to do the floor cone like that okay so that's the second one that i wanted to show you guys the last one i want to do this one I'm still learning, or oh, I'm still working on. I haven't really put this into practice, but I kind of found it. It's kind of like a hybrid between um, something that I've seen Booga do, something that I learned from watching another Jarian video. Um, but basically what you're gonna do now, this is a little bit more protected, right? If you wanna be safer, it's not as mad efficient, but um, you're coming up out of a scissor ramp, okay? And now we're still doing that same cone, 
But instead of just jumping out like we did before, what you're going to do is you're going to place a wall here and a wall here. Okay, so this is going to protect you. If somebody's up here, it's going to protect you from here. This shot can't happen, all right? This shotgun blow or whatever it is. But it's easy to mix this up because you now have to edit out this wall. And then you're going to, as you jump out, you're going to build a wall here and here. And then you're going to land on a ramp. Okay, it seems like a lot, but it, once you get the pattern, it's really not that bad. So let me show you guys that. Uh, can we edit this? Reset this? Let's just go up again. All right, so cone, wall, wall, edit. All right, so that movement brings you here, and then you jump out, wall, wall, ramp. So it's wall, wall, ramp. And if you want to just practice that, uh, you can just kind of build a floor out here. Wall, wall, ramp. Build a floor. Wall, wall, ramp. Build a floor. Wall, wall, ramp. So that's the pattern that you're trying to get into. And then we can show you guys from here. This is what it looks like at full speed. Okay. It looks quick and flashy. It's not a lot of movement. Obviously, I'm on a mouse and keyboard, so it's a little bit different. But I had plenty of controller guys can do this. I've had controller guys in here that can do it. So put up the cone, wall, wall, edit the wall, 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 ramp. Okay. And then from here, I like to go straight into 390s. You can also scissor ramp out of that. Okay, the reason I like going in the 390s, or 290s rather, is because I like to get vertical, right? I like to get above my opponent. So if um, this is what I would do, I would come up, cone, wall, wall, edit, wall, wall, ramp, and then just go right into 90s. But I built a ramp above my head, which is going into the scissor ramp. So let me show you guys that one more time. This is without building the ramp over my head. All right. 90s bad 90s um then coming out with scissor ramps is going to look like this same thing cone wall wall edit the wall 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 ramp and then you look up to build your scissor ramps and then from here you can do some of the stuff we've already worked on totally up to you okay but the main thing with that is that you have to get that edit down okay you're doing the cone wall wall edit and then this little jump can be a little tricky sometimes <laughs> Hey, I'm just showing you guys. I'm not saying I'm the best at it. So those are the three guys. Let's go ahead and put them all into practice here in one move. The first one that we did is going to come out of scissor ramps. We're building a cone above us and then a ramp floor ramp, right? Landing on this and you can do it to the right. You can do it to the left. And that's the first one. The second one, we're doing a cone and a floor, editing the floor and the cone and then doing the same thing, ramp floor ramp. And the last one, cone, wall, wall, edit, Jump out wall, wall, ramp, and you can turn that into scissor ramps. You can turn it into 90s. Uh, you can do a bunch of different things with that. I encourage you guys to practice all of these going in the same uh, both directions so that you're not just dependent on one. Same thing goes with my 90s. You should pra practice those to the left also. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for today. Those are the three high ground retakes that I think are, are good intermediates to advanced high ground retakes. Let me know what you guys think about those. Um, if you do get them down, send me a video. You can send it on my Twitter, Avilo Stinks, or hit me up on Instagram, Twitch, and all the things. You know, If you guys did like a video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get updates when I come out with the next videos. But until further ado, I don't have a closer. This is really bad. I'm just going to stop the video right now.